I, I figured I could show y'all what I got him because by the time this is edited and uploaded, he will hopefully it'll be today, but he will have already seen it. So he loves the North Face. This kid is like, he has everything. So I just got him some things like, I mean, that I just knew he would like obviously, but I mean, things you can't get enough of. These are swimming trunks because we're about to go to Hawaii. And I got him a pair of North Face shorts. Oh, and all of this stuff is from Macy's. North Face shorts and a top to go with it. It, I think it just has a little North Face logo on it. Yeah. So there's that. Comment, so I don't care. I'm gonna share it. Um, I maybe you're okay. Look, she needs attention. I mean, I'm not gonna show the pieces, but I did get lingerie for for me for him. <laughs> Look, yesterday he got me my first bouquet from um, a, what are they called? I want to say floral store, a uh, florist. I haven't put it together, obviously, last night. I just put it in here. I haven't even taken those things off so it wouldn't die. But he's so sweet. He got it on his way back home from Alabama. We got some donuts. Yes, we ate them all, uh, except for one last night from Krispy Kreme because I needed me some B-Day donuts. I got to move the steak to the fridge so it can defrost. I'm probably gonna get a paper towel. It looks empty because, I always say this, but it looks empty because I just cleaned it out. Um, need a paper towel to put under it, or a, um, this thing, a dish towel. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make steak, a pair, asparagus, red skin, potatoes, and sorry, it looks funny. I'm trying to do it with one hand, obviously. Red skin potatoes, like cheesy, and shrimp. I think that's all. Oh, and uh, chocolate covered strawberries. Look guys, um, it's easier for me to do it with a fork, so that's why you see those like prong holes, whatever you want to call them. But these are the strawberries. I'm just gonna put them in the fridge. And again, I don't know if I got a good shot of it, but I just use these Ghirardelli dark melting wafers. You guys, this is all I ever use. I really love it. The white chocolate one's good, the milk chocolate one's good, but Fernando and me prefer the dark chocolate one. Had the red skin mash, I mean the red skin potatoes boiling, but I think they're about done. So I'm going to add the other ingredients I need to add and mix it up. Um, and I'll show y'all what I add. First off, I'm gonna add garlic salt and some salted butter. I've already put the salted butter in there. I usually add um, some cheese whenever I start the mix. The like, you know. hot you can tell but. I want it to be really cheesy so I added the whole bag call me crazy um, it's two cups of cheese and I don't want to add more garlic salt because I don't want it to taste too garlicky so I'm gonna add some more um, or not more but I'm gonna add um, pink Himalayan sea salt or salt and I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. This is not a healthy meal, but you know what? It's B-Day, we're gonna live our life. Well, I am totally guessing how to do this. I seasoned it with some Jack Daniels steak seasoning. So I put olive oil in the pan um, and EVOO because this is Rachel Ray. <laughs> Did any of y'all watch her? If not, I sound like an idiot. But I put um, pink Himalayan sea salt, just a tiny bit, and a tiny bit of garlic sea salt. Like my granny says, put garlic salt on everything except your cereal. And some black pepper. And I put some salted butter on top because I saw somebody do that in their vlog. Wish me luck, people. 
I am a messy cook. I don't know if I've already said that. Ew. Um, I'm letting the water start to boil for the shrimp. I am defrosting the shrimp. I just turned off the water so you guys could hear me a little bit better. And these are the steaks right now. We like our steaks super well done, like charcoal, crispy. Um, but yeah, so that's that so far. Now I've got the asparagus washed and cut and I am peeling this potato and I'm gonna saute it. Manny, you're okay. I'm gonna saute it to go with like on the side of our steak or whatever. The shrimp in the pan right now, cooking is a big mess again. And I used this Cajun seasoning and a little bit of Old Bay, probably about the same thing, but I used a little bit of what? Okay, a lot. The onions. There are the shrimp, and again, I'm plating this later. I just put it on here so some of the um, grease could come off, or like, whatever the butter. But yeah. This on the asparagus, lemon pepper, salt-free Mrs. Dash, and I also used gar garlic and herb. I used a little bit of this because I've been using garlic and everything. Salt-free, and not butter. I used extra virgin olive oil. And so there's that, getting it coated. Okay, this is the asparagus, and I'm not lying, me and my husband, okay, some of this is like seasoning that's gonna come off, but me and my husband really do like everything burnt. I knew he was the one for me when I found out he liked burnt toast, too. Guys, I just went with Raquel um, before fitting on the kids home. I went with her to Target and to Publix, and I'll show y'all what I got. I got a balloon for my honey. Yes, I did. And even though we're staying home, I kind of dressed up. I put up, let me hit the lights. They're outside of here. But um, I put on a skirt. I wore this skirt for, um, what's it called? For Christmas Eve. And this shirt from H&M. And then I had on like black thigh highs, but obviously I'm home, so I'm in my, made my socks <laughs> shout out to my mom she got me these socks and yeah that's just what it looks like two front pockets target from target i got some straw because i ran out and y'all know i have a straw every morning with my coffee but i got valentine's straws because i don't want valentine's to end and because i just think they're cute y'all i'm so corny i set his presents up right there in the balloon and I've said it in another vlog, but I got him that. Um, I think it was like one of our first Valentine's days. Um, yeah, so it's funny it's there. <laughs> I only use that when he's out of town, but I kind of just left it because he's been in and out of town. But yeah, I love all the sap, all the corniness. Come here. Okay. Babe, um, when you watch this, I am waiting. I like already want to cry. I'm waiting. Oh, I am not ruining my makeup, especially to not get personal on here. But I wanted to say that marriage is the hardest thing that I've ever done. I know it's the hardest thing you've ever done, I'm sure. But it is totally worth it. And um, I just love you so much. And I, I, for the 15th time, I'm not going to get too personal on here because you're a private person, but um, you're the best person ever, obviously, I think so. And you work so hard for our family. Actually, I'm waiting for you to come home from work. And me and Minnie, just wanna tell you happy Valentine's Day. Minnie, you need to get grooms, sis, sorry. Um, and we love you so much. And everything you do for our little family, you, are such an amazing person. I literally couldn't have asked for a better partner. And I really hope you like the dinner tonight. I hope I didn't screw it up. <laughs> no, but um, you really are the most patient, kind, generous, caring person to ever exist. And I love you so much. I never knew I could love somebody so, so much. I love you more than life itself. And forever, I'll love you more. Okay, so after 
that's that first um, i'm gonna let you guys go and if you want to see the food plated i'll leave my instagram here i'll put it on my instagram stories just for, for those of you who are curious or whatever and um i just um i'm gonna edit and upload these last few clips so when he gets home i can just spend quality time with him and i'm gonna touch up my hair and makeup things like that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope each and every one of you had a great valentine's day and if you don't um celebrate valentine's day um i hope you still had a great day you have a great night okay i'm like dragging this on oh i wanted to mention you guys i know i like when i rewatch my like the clips and everything like when i'm editing i'm like mm. Because I realize I mispronounce and misspell a lot of things. Oh, and I realize I misspell a lot of things after I've already uploaded. But that's because I like still get so nervous sometimes about like vlogging and not even that, but like more than anything distracted. So don't think I'm a dingus, okay? I just, I just, uh, yeah, I get distracted. I'm a pretty good multitasker, but I guess not with this because it's kind of newer, but.